Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are playing some more Honkai Impact 3 and basically I kind of just want to take you through my daily sort of routine as far as this goes so newer players can maybe get an idea about what they should be doing. So of course energy leak is always first because it's basically just some random stage and it's tin crystals that's cool so of course we're going to do that first. Always make sure to take a friend even if you don't need them because of course you get those tin friendship points and once you get 100 you can open a friendship crate. Most of the time there's nothing too good in there, but sometimes, you know, there could be something useful, so why not? It's one extra click. There are two of these energy leaks every day, so make sure to go back there and go to the next one. This may also be an event that could be ending at one point, so keep that in mind. So once the energy leaks are done, while well, I'm always clicking on these red circles because it means I can do something, we can craft a Lucia, okay. Then of course I'm going back to attack, world map, and checking out the events for today. Um, also, if you haven't completed basic training, it's not here anymore for me because it's done. Uh, make sure to do that three times a day. You get one refresh every eight hours, so if you use your three tickets, then 24 hours later, you'll have three more. Besides that, we have the ongoing event, Special Exercise May. It was pretty fun, but I'm probably not gonna do that anymore because I don't believe there's any other uh, rewards for doing it and it does cost stamina and the drop list isn't very impressive so there's also one of these events going on where they can drop a natural four star sword and of course I'm doing this as well because while this weapon might not be actually recommended for someone who is newer and any natural four star weapon is going to be better than any natural three star weapon then I'd say it's good. The bad thing is you do need quite a bit of them to actually raise them to five star so you have to get pretty lucky. Of course if you haven't completed all three of your challenges like the complete a 75 hit combo blah 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 you're missing out on 15 uh, crystals there. If I don't desperately want or need the weapon then I'm going to go for any I haven't completed the three objectives on like this one. Most of these event stages only have like one entry per day so uh, it's pretty quick to do, with the exception of like the upgrade materials for weapons and stigmata. I believe you can do that twice. And we got the sword, I believe this is our third one. I have a feeling for each time you complete it for the first time, you're guaranteed a drop because I've gotten a drop on each one of these three. But I was doing like this grandpa or grandmaster or something sword uh, the other day and I kept doing one stage every day and I only ever got one sword so then there's the Valkyrie challenge for EXP materials I heard this isn't really worth it until like level 45 or 50 or such uh, because I guess the drops just aren't enough for the cost of stamina but I would say you should do each stage at least once for the 15 crystals if you want crystals I mean crystals are cool and depending on what weekday sort of event we have going on uh, you'll get used to them, but especially when it says clear stage in 60 seconds or less, I know it'll be a quick one, and this one in particular costs 20 stamina, so that means I could use 40 stamina in like 2 minutes. So what I would wait to do with uh, stuff that costs a lot of stamina that is quick to do is waiting until I use my daily 50% Captain EXP chip. We get this every day as a daily quest, so once I'm above level 50, obviously I won't consider this because it won't have any effect anymore. But uh, for now, while I'm under level 50, I do take that into consideration. Also, during that chip's time, I'm going to be farming any Valks that are on uh, hard stages like Supreme 2-9 because the because this also uses about 21 stamina, Supreme 1-8 for Divine Prayer, etc, etc. So of course, you want to use the bulk of your stamina and get those refreshes in, the ones you want to do while you're on the EXP chip. Of course, we have a current event for May, so you want to do whatever it takes to complete those missions. I would have to do a co-op stage one time, which is kind of annoying, but but uh, it's all right. So of course for that we just hit co-op. Um, we'll try Valkyrie training first and then we'll uh, try a different room if we don't find any here. We'll get like 10 seconds. Looks like we found a room that was actually quite quick. I'm going to change to Snowy Sniper if available because I think this is the one with QTE and she has a very easy to activate QTE. Just need to get them up in the air. Let's go. Also I'm using a PS4 controller to play this game. Um, Tell me if you want me to show you how by leaving a like. Cooperate with your teammates. So get them up in the air, guys. Go ahead and do it. Boom, here we go. Pop, they're all dead, except this guy, but whatever. I know, I think that guy just appeared. All right, pop them up in the air, guys. You can do it. Here we go. Thank you. Dead. Everyone is dead. Pop them up in the air, guys. You can, yes, here we go. Boom, there we go, yeah. Uh, pop them up in the air one more time. You can do it. Come on. Well, I mean, I can do a tiny bit of damage while I'm waiting for you to pop them up in the air. Okay. 
pop the boss up in the air though so we can get through him oh it's one of these dudes hey yes here we go kabonk one-shotted goodbye oh there's another one over here alrighty yes let's do it oh well it was almost dead anyway but whatever thank you guys for helping me with the QTEs yes thank you for the like whoever it was oh you guys both gave me likes well I'm gonna have to go with Rito because he just had more damage sorry ego sum I would have given you a like too if I could but you know nothing personal and with that we can grab this and um, yeah then basically just opening these eight crates getting Nothing typically very good, but you know, it's like free stuff for an event, so why not? This is cool, 10 stamina. Stamina you can never have enough of. Micro reactor, some gold. It's all good. Main reason is to get these other rewards. You know, three Shadow Dash fragments. I actually had, had a lot of fun playing with Shadow Dash in this uh, new event where you can play them as like double S rank or, or triple S rank, some of them. Also, as a side note, when I open eventually 70 crates during the event and get those tokens, I'm going to be getting the Stigmata set. I can't tell you if that's a good idea or not, but I mean, you get three tokens during the event. There are three Stigmatas there, or you can get three of the four weapons, but... If I'm going to get one Stigmata, which I already have, then I would I would need to complete the set. That would just drive me crazy if I had two of the three pieces. And, and I'm pretty sure I have most of these weapons anyway, so I guess I'm going to go for the Stigmatas. Oh, I didn't know we still get all of these things for May's party dress thing. But yeah, so basically once all that sort of other stuff is done, like the energy leak, the event maps, and all of that stuff. Once that's done, I'm just going to go to my mission tab, see what I have left. Typically, I don't collect the stamina until a little bit later when I would actually need it. So we're basically just claiming all daily stuff, seeing what else we'd actually have to do. I do the gold exchange once just for the quest because even though I know I don't need to for no reason, I would rather have it gone. Just part of my not OCD, but personality and then you'll see there's not very many left i think more will show up once you clear some because that's just how the way it is for some reason you can't see all of them all of the time you have to do some and then a new one will appear so it's kind of weird but most of the stuff will happen by itself as we're using our one hour exp chip only thing that won't really is collecting coins in the base and that's actually the other thing we should be checking I guess when we log in unless you're sure you have four hours and 40 minutes left on your Honkai power core but collecting coins is good anyway I thought I did that already because I mean I only have 458 in there and my thing produces it like much faster than that so I have definitely already collected coins today it doesn't matter as you can see now we have treasure hunter send out Valkyries on base adventures two times which we didn't have just a second ago and we have already uh, collected our Valkyries rewards from them being on adventures and sent them on new ones already. So in three hours we can finish that event. So of course after checking base, making sure you are upgrading something at all times because you should be, and making sure your Valks are on free adventures, unless you actually want to use stamina for them, then uh, you're done with base for a while. Checking the Armada, as a guildmaster I kind of have to check it from time to time, upgrade something if we have the funds, which we do, uh, as of right now, we are trying to get to 90,000 funds and 50,000 fame. We have the fame cap raised to 50k, now we're working on funds, and then we just have to wait <laughs> until we have that 90k funds. That's going to take way longer than the 50k fame, I think. Regardless, for now, we're just going to keep upgrading the warehouses, and uh, yeah. By the way, we are always looking for new members. Currently, we're almost full. Uh, there is still one space left, but there are often times people aren't meeting the requirements of the guild not contributing enough so they get removed so if you want to join crusaders just keep an eye out also over here on the left make sure you claim these every day they always contain some crystals and some other little trinkets but yeah once all the basic stuff is done that you just saw i'm going to go into my equipment and pop the captain exp chip and besides farming valkyrie fragments what i'm going to do is go in here and see if there are any stages i can clear but unfortunately i am too low for pretty much everything um, some unlocks at level 48, and more than likely we will get to level 48 uh, before the EXP chip is up. So what we would do then is when we get to level 48, going back to the missions, checking which ones we could do. 4-3 hard, basically just chapter 4 on hard, which actually is pretty cool because I think we can finally start farming Scarlet Fusion fragments. I really like her. She's gotten me through so much of the game. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my daily quest. I kind of put the game away until about 8 p.m. Uh, because then boss invasion starts and of course if you're level 30 or higher you should do that every day and then at like 8 o'clock resource collection resets 
and um, you can apply for new commissions, but you don't necessarily need to do that at eight. Of course, grabbing your rewards is always good. Speaking of which, I do tend to save two of my eight remaining attempts for the next day because then I can complete my daily quests all at once and not have to wait until 8 p.m. that day, if you know what I mean. Matrix Explorer isn't something I've really messed around with too much. I'm kind of just saving up my fuel. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I'm just saving it, waiting until I'm stronger and can unlock at least this second spot at level 50 here. Uh, so I can take a few more and then I'm probably going to restart. I could already start on level 2, I believe, because I finished floor 15 or so on stage 1. So I'll probably start Matrix again after I hit level 50 and uh, we'll see how it goes then. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. I'm not going to bring you through my one hour of EXP chip because, okay, I don't think anyone wants to see that. But yeah, that's basically it for my daily routine. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you have any other questions about what you maybe should be doing or such, uh, you can drop them down there. I'm still no expert, but I'm definitely getting more of a feel for it. So yeah, leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy would also be greatly appreciated. Thanks guys, as always for watching, and until next time.